Well, hello there. This is Shane from Shane's Reviews, and I hope you're having a great... What? You're you're not? Oh, fair enough. Yes, I, I see. Hmm. You're upset that I've been saying that we were going to do stuff and you haven't seen it. Well, just be patient a little bit longer. Things are coming. I promise. So, with that, today we're going to be talking about H.G. Wells. This one is... This one is Dr. Monroe's Island. The Island of Dr. Monroe. I said it completely wrong, which was narrated by Jason Isaacs. One day, I will be able to pronounce names correctly, so we'll get there. Now, this one, I don't really want to get into the aspects of the story so much. It was a good read. It wasn't necessarily the best one, but I think that's my personal feelings on it right now. I'm going to reread it and see what I get to. Maybe a, two or three months I'll go back and revisit it. But this is probably the only one where I've seen snippets in popular media that actually does correspond with what H.G. Wells has wrote. So I don't feel it's so raw to try to get people aware of what a incredible author he is and how his stories have been mistold so very often. But with that digression, it is standard of what you would think. So there's a, a person, they're traveling, they end up meeting up with this person, and then they end up on a boat, they end up on an island. There's all kinds of things that are kind of subtle at first, but become less subtle as the story moves on. Uh, there's religious cults, and <laughs> there's a showdown of what happens if the religious head was removed. Instead of it being more of a, a typical science fiction story of which we would be used to with H.G. Wells, if, if you've read several of the ones that I've read in this collection so far, then it's more of a, a mild horror story of what if this actually happened? Where would the morality be? What would and what should be done? What is the greater good for everybody involved here? I'm curious to see what you guys and girls think about that if you've read the story because I know that I kind of left it not necessarily in a haze but my mind going yeah I'm going to process on that for a minute. I don't know if it has to do with the characters that would be kind of like orphaned or if it would be moreover you know what's the greater evil in this situation that kind of put me not necessarily sideways but made me feel uncomfortable. So. Yes, it did elicit a emotional response from me on that of feeling uncomfortable while I was reading it, but not for the reasons that you would suspect. It's what I was just describing. So kind of makes me think of books like um, The Lord of the Flies. That was the name of it. It makes me think quite a bit about things like that. The morality of the situation. Is this thing okay? Is it not okay? Why? Why is it okay or not okay? So as I was reading it, I was going through a moral dilemma of if I was this character, what would I do in this situation? Because the end game for any side really wouldn't really be good. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand the reason why the good doctor, uh, as it were, and I say that very sarcastically, uh, had to be removed as a figurehead, etc. But the rest of the fallout from that for the people that were in that story. It made me feel for them quite a bit. So, anyway, I did enjoy the book regardless of feeling not quite level, like everything was askew. We're lambs to the slaughter. Nothing will ever be right again. Type of a askew, right? Is it worth your time, efforts, and energies? That's a big question for this book. And it's not that I hesitate because it's not good. I hesitate because it was kind of an unexpected thing because even though I'd seen it in in you know theater or or shorts or whatever, the scale of things weren't really well portrayed in all. As far as the next book that I'm going to be reading, and I used to do that and tell you guys and gals exactly what it was that I had uh, that was coming up, but um, I've pretty well gone down the rabbit hole, so I'm going to have to do some research and look up some things this weekend and you get some new books 
or find some books that I think would be interesting. So in the meantime, if you wonderful people of the world wouldn't mind, give me some suggestions in the comments. I'd like to know what you guys and gals are reading and maybe we can foster a thing back and forth about that because I've gone down this path with the space shoot 'em up bang bang so much and all that other stuff that I, I'm finding that whenever I read things that are outside of that lane, it's so much more rewarding. So it doesn't even have to be something that I would discuss on the channel. Just let me know what you're reading. I'd like to know. I do hope that the day treats you well. Now, I'm not sure which one of the videos over here that just pulled in that you might check out, but if you pick the one that's right there, I will see you in the next video. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, sanitize, you know, because even though we're getting to the point where things are getting a lot better for a lot of places, there's still a lot of chances for a lot of things to happen. So be mindful of it, right? Be safe, be healthy. I love you guys and gals. Be good.